Here's a quick overview of the tools I'll be using to paint my cabinets. So I, um, I already primed them with kills and for the paint I bought Benjamin Moore Advanced Paint. It's a waterborne alkyd and uh, it's a satin finish. And I got two colors. I got the, what's it called, Kendall Gray for my lower cabinets and Dove White for my upper cabinets. When I primed my doors and the bases, I was using this, um, it says shed resistant woven, but it did not resist enough shedding. I kept getting these little fuzzies on my wood and I wasn't very happy. So um, since I ended up using my brush to kind of go over everything anyways, I went back to the store and got these foam rollers. Um, so I haven't used them yet. I don't know if they're any good but that will just help me get the paint onto the door real quick and then I'll still go over it with the brush to kind of smooth it out and this advanced paint is supposed to kind of act like oil paint in where it will just kind of flatten out over time and uh, isn't supposed to leave the brush marks so that's what I'm working with okay I just opened up this alkyd paint and my first thought is whoa this stuff is thick uh, the guy at the store kept saying, no, you don't want to thin it with Floetrol because it'll specially formulated. So I'll just do the back of the doors first and see how I like the way it works. Um, when I first opened the paint, I was saying, oh, this is so thick, this is not going to be any good. Uh, actually, when I started painting it, I really love this paint. It seems thick when you put it on first, but because of the leveling, I don't know, aspects of it, I guess, it just, it goes on and... As long as you do it quickly, you can kind of almost see, I don't know the right word, but like liquefying. It uh, doesn't get rid of all of the brush marks, but it definitely levels out quite a bit. And I'll show you a couple of the doors I painted last night to show you what it looks like. These are the doors I painted last night, and you can kind of see a little bit of brush marks but it's mostly flat. I just painted this so you can see it still has some lines but it'll smooth out. Up here it's been a little bit longer and you see less lines. So I feel like with this paint it's important to get a thin layer on or because it's prone to sagging and dripping. Uh, I've been pretty careful and so far I have not had any drips with the paint but it's definitely something to watch out for. 